questions? Do everyone start with that? Ginny, it's, it's uh, been a few weeks since you guys faced Texas. What's maybe different about them now versus when you guys last played them? Um, well, uh, Deanna Gaston's back. I mean, that's obviously a huge difference, but uh, I, I feel like they're just really good and we know that. And so I don't think that we are uh, gonna really focus on what's so much different in terms of uh, for them. We've got to be really good got to rebound the basketball clearly uh, we've got to really guard the paint uh, and then offensively we've got to have really good movement what about your team what do you feel like is different about your team than even just a few weeks ago yeah well I think we just keep growing and I think we've experienced a game that we didn't feel like we were ourselves at all and I think we're getting more convicted in terms of how do we keep getting better and I think we've had really good like moments. Um, but I also don't know if we have really put both ends of the floor together. You know, we've had games where we've scored the ball well. We've had games where we've guarded really well. It, this is the type of game, this is the type of time of year, you don't get to be selective, you gotta do everything. And so for us, I feel like we do continue to get better, but we've gotta to start to put that together. Along those lines, is there an excitement maybe that the success you guys have had that you still feel like there's a lot of ways you guys can get better and, and grow? Is there an excitement? Is there a frustration? Yeah, we're not tapped, right? Yeah. Like we haven't been our, our very best. So I think there is that. And I think this team just really focuses on that. I think one of the things that we continue to do is we focus on being in the moment. You know, our practice yesterday was really good. Today, I'm really excited to get back into practice today. So. This team has a uh, um, just a just an everyday excitement and a, a unique togetherness that they really um, we've really grown a lot on and off the floor together. So I don't I don't think we you know we talked so long uh, so much about how we hadn't tapped anything right. Well, you've seen glimpses now. We've seen really good glimpses. Uh, but we haven't seen 40 minutes. And so I think that part, everybody yearns for those 40 minutes of greatness, right? And that's the beautiful part about sport is that you're never going to be perfect, but you keep responding and you keep growing and you keep getting better. Uh, so I think when we have that kind of enjoyment when we play, uh, that's when those really good things tend to find you. Jenny, you've been talking since like early January about trust and confidence and, and growth. Have you had many teams that I guess grown for lack of a better term as much as this one has from where you were in December to, to right here now and going into March. Yeah, that's that's probably a I don't know if it's necessarily a really fair question and I say that because you know we don't celebrate growth anymore. We celebrate wins or losses, right? Or we get so caught up in whether or not you lose to who you're not supposed to lose to or you're supposed to beat people, and especially here at OU, right? I mean, you look at you look at our football team and it's unique, you can never win enough. And if you do win, then you didn't run well or you didn't pass well or you didn't do this well, right? And so there's always those kinds of factors that go into it. And I think what we've been able to do is to say, okay, we fell short in some areas, but it wasn't one game that seems to be the, the central focus. It was a month and a half of hard and of growing but we had the right ideas. We had the right looks. We had the right kind of mindset. Now, was it perfect? No. Um, and defensively, we had to get a lot better. Offensively, we had to get a lot better. And I think we've continued to do that. So is this the most I've ever seen a team grow? Right now, it feels like yes, because we're in it. Uh, but I, I don't know. I just think that there were so much extremes in terms of that win-loss column and less in terms of are we actually growing and getting better. Jenny, it's great to see Peyton, uh, her game just blossoming in front of her eyes. You know, when you get that five-star label, there's so much expected, and it's not fair because, you know, you don't know exactly, you know, but her all-around game is really pretty special. Yeah, and she's been, she's a perfect example of somebody that's continued to evolve as the season has gone on, and I think, 
you know, she really is, she's a middle child of six. And so she, you know, she really, she plays to people's strengths and she wants to be part of it. And I think that took a little bit for her to get really comfortable. I think she's more comfortable now, but even in the last game, I mean, you think about when we played Oklahoma State and she thinks like that point guard sometimes a little bit too much or she overpasses it or she really wants to play to somebody else's strength and get them involved. And so what that's what you love about her too, right? Is that she's just the consummate team player. Um, but it has been really fun to be able to watch her just evolve and her continue to grow. Um, but again, I think, I think it's a whole team effort. I think we've really, because we play a lot of people too and our whole system relies on whether or not you bring your game and you bring your best, but also play to each other's strengths too. So I think Peyton's just been a really good leader in that capacity. I thought the 13 rebound, you know, the physicality, you know, you wonder about a player with all her skills. Will she really go in and bang? And she did on Saturday. She's got a physical game. Yeah, no, she, she does. I think there's also a difference of creating physicality and accepting it. And I think there's a balance of both and you have to, and especially in the Big 12 Conference, this is a physical league, and so you've got to be able to have some of that. And I think she's done a nice job of being able to, you know, to really step up and, you know, in that capacity. Uh, but this game tomorrow is going to be a little bit different test in that too. Sort of along those lines with uh, Sahara and the growth that you've seen from her. What, how, how has her game evolved and her approach evolved mm -hmm. recently? Yeah, well, we knew that she was a freshman, right? And so again, you look at those labels before and you think they're gonna come in and they're gonna, but they're still freshmen, you know, and it's still February of your freshman year. And so we've been able to really see her have those moments where you're like, dang, that was really good. And then you have those moments where you, th where you say, oh yeah, she's a freshman, <laughs> you know, and she's still growing and learning. I think what she's really done a nice job is she brings a competitiveness and you got to hear that you know after our last game and Lexi was in here and Skylar was in here talking about how she's really late, raised the level of competitiveness for our team and when you have two experienced players like that saying that about a freshman that's pretty incredible so I think Sahara has those elements of those intangibles of just step on the floor I mean she's got a presence good or bad she's got that presence and so I think you've been able to see those moments uh, but I also feel like she is less concerned about maybe how somebody's guarding her. And I think that kind of got to her a little bit. And now more of what do we do? What do we need to do? What do I need to do to help us? And you can see that shift. And that's whether it's boards, whether it's passing, whether it's shooting, whatever that is, I think you can really see that with Sahara. Jenny, we saw back in January, we saw Caitlin Clark uh, get bumped in that court storming and then Kyle Filipowski over the weekend. Are you worried at all that people aren't taking this seriously enough, uh, the, the, the situations and the, pre the precautions? Yeah, good question. And, you know, it's a hard one to answer until you're in it, to be honest. And I think we can all have so many opinions, um, just like so many issues, right? We get such strong opinions until it happens, and then all of a sudden your perspective changes. So I know that from a leadership standpoint, the leadership of our university, I know the leadership from our conference, I think they're taking it very seriously. And those are the people that are gonna make those changes. So I, I do believe in their leadership in this. Jenny, on, on top of this being a Big 12 championship type of game, it's also senior night um, and you've got a pretty big group. What have the, have, has that group meant to you, especially in your early career here? Well, and that's kind of the interesting thing in terms of um, with this extra COVID year too. So we have a couple that are seniors, but will be coming back next year. So the celebration will, will include Jordan Moser and Kennedy Tucker, and it will just be the two of them. Um, but again, the two of them have been incredible for us. And obviously, Nevaeh Todd is, is a senior that will come back, and Skylar Van is a senior that will come back, and um, you know, with Lexi and Aubrey. and. Um, prepare that for next year. Um, but I think I think what we've been able to see is this incredible program. The legacy of the program, I think, has been passed down. I think we had great seniors the year before and they've had great seniors the year before. And so these games are never an easy game um, because you really want to play for your team. And so sometimes that's really good and sometimes it gets a little emotional, um, but we'll hope that it's good. Just knowing that you guys are on the cusp of another 
conference title, I mean, winning back to back, I mean, how big would that be for this program? <laughs> or how special would it be for you? Yeah, I mean, any time that you're vying for a conference championship, and we've been asked this question so many times, and I've pushed it off saying, okay, it's still early in the season, everybody can go for it, and, and now it's a reality that we're later in a season. Uh, I think it's special any time that you can do that, any time that you you know, you can sit there and not just dream about it, but you you know, you potentially have an opportunity to cut some nets down. Um, that's pretty special. However, that's still not our focus. We've got to make sure that we're not trying to um, make it and not that it's not that we're not trying to make it bigger than it is, because obviously it's a huge deal. Um, but it's one that We've got to just continue to have fun playing, continue to grow, continue to get better. And I think that's something that we learned a year ago that I'm really hopeful we get to learn tomorrow, right? So it's not always in life that you, know, you get the same opportunity twice and this same thing happened last year where this game became so big and we weren't ready for it. And so I'm excited for us to just at some point that game's going to be a game and we've got to be able to really work hard tomorrow. Jenny, can you going. talk about the matchup? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about the matchup in Texas? And how different? Yeah, I mean, Texas is good. They're very, very good. I mean, there is no question. I think they're ranked, what, third right now in the country. So, I mean, you can't underestimate them whatsoever. They obviously have a freshman phenom that's incredible. They have size. They have athleticism. They're rebounding like crazy right now. So, But they're a good team. You know, they're not just a one-player uh, program and so everybody has to do their part tomorrow so that's something that we've got to really be able to step up and just play and you've got to compete and you've got to play together and if we if we come in this and in islands we're not going to be very good but we we might have a shot if we have you know a good team together so I'm not going to worry about whether or not we win or we lose or what they're going to do we know that they're good we respect the heck out of them and we know that they're going to be ready and so we've got to focus on us being ready and be able to step across those lines. Jenny, going back to your answer to, to Eli's question, you talk about how it wasn't just one game, but obviously that's the one that everybody circles. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you needed that to Oh, it's easy to, to say that now, right? Well, yeah, I mean, it's but really I mean, easy to say that now I, with the I know it's difficult, in. but right. uh, you know, is that a, a different kind of a wake-up call than maybe some of the other struggles that y'all went through in that month? I do feel like you need adversity in life, right? To be able to know that you can get up and you can go forward. And so if that's our adversity in life that we really needed, I felt like we had plenty of that before that point. Um, but I also feel like when, when especially, you know, we talk about resiliency, we talk about grit and we as people need to fall down, roll up our sleeves and, and go forward. And I think that has been something that I'm, I, I don't know if we necessarily needed all that, but we did need the response. We did need, and I feel like we responded in the right way. And what I mean by that is I feel like we looked in the mirror, we owned it. We said, okay, this is, this is where we're at. This is what's happened. How do we get better? Not, oh, it was the officials. Oh, it was Skylar had a concussion. Oh, it was, you know, coach's fault. It was mom and dad's fault. It was whoever else's fault, right? Like we didn't do any of that. And I think that's where we drew that line and said, okay, this isn't about whether or not you play well. This is about whether or not we play well. And I think we started to practice better. I think we started to understand that power of team more. So to answer it in short, sure. Um, but I also think that we had, we still had a choice in that of how we were going to respond to that. And I think that I'm really proud of the way that, that we've responded to that. Just knowing that, you know, Texas is one of the games that we get a lot of fans here for the chance to win a conference championship, being a team as good as them twice, it seems like it could be a lot of pressure. How do you maybe put that to the side or, you know, manage that kind of pressure? <laughs> You know, I, it's, it's my hope that people don't necessarily come because it's Texas or even because it's for a conference championship. My hope is that people come because they've come before and they've fallen in love with this team and they want to come back and they want to be part of it. And I think anybody that comes to our games, and you guys have been to plenty, you can see people feel a part of this. 
you know, you can see that autograph line at the end of the game growing like crazy. You know, they're not they're not getting paid for that. That's not an NIL. That's something that we want to be able to do to serve our community. And you can see people wait till the end of the game because at the end of every game, our players are going up in the stands and they're thanking them. And so they become our fans haven't come to cheer us on. Our fans have come to be part of what we're doing and what we're trying to build. And so to me, don't come because it's Texas. I don't, I don't, I don't really care to see one horns down, one beat Texas shirt. I don't, I don't want to see any of that. I want you to come because you love this team. That's it. Come and be part of it. Come and be part of it. And that's, to me, that's more of the focus than it is about, because what if we're playing somebody else in our league? And I know we're not, and I know Texas is really good, and I understand rivalries. I totally get that. Um, I also understand there's an element at some point people are going to really start to come here because they love this team. Anything else, Chris? Thanks.